Hi, can I speak with William? Hi, good morning. Uh, we're, we're here with the Rick's Cone campaign. If you talk to any campaign employee, they'll tell you the beating heart of a campaign is the number of volunteers that it's able to pull in. That amount of volunteers can show you how much excitement there is in the general public about the candidate. And once these volunteers come back to the office or they hang up their phone, they can tell the campaigns a lot about how the candidate is perceived out there. Hi Jane, my name is Kristen and I'm a volunteer with the Connor Lamb for Congress campaign. I've done some mild volunteering for campaigns, but nothing to the extent that I'm doing now. I've been here almost daily for the past six weeks. What's it like to call people who like don't want to hear it? It's hard sometimes. Um, most people are pretty nice. You know, every once in a while you get somebody that, that uh, you know, just doesn't doesn't want to talk to you and, and they're angry about it. A lot of people are like, I don't tell anybody who I'm voting for. Yeah. It's fair enough. It's, it's definitely getting a little bit tougher as we get closer to the election because people have been getting more calls from outside groups. Um, pollsters have been calling people like crazy. But, uh, you know, people, people have been responding fairly well. I feel um, really good that people seem to be really interested in this race. There's, there's a lot of support out there. It's amazing to go in here every day and just have a bunch of people around you that are working towards the same goal. That's always really energizing. Well, thank you very much for your time. You have a good weekend. Take care. Where phone banking feels very targeted, door knocking, canvassing, it feels a little more random. You do zero in on a neighborhood, but once you get here, you're knocking on doors that they may already have a Rick Saccone sign in their front yard. They say they're voting for him. The next second, you're knocking on a door of someone who says they're a Democrat, that they're voting for Connor Lamb, and you're trying to get them to change their mind. I'll give you half of that. Well, you can just hold it all. Just... At this point, it's really about making sure people go to the polls tomorrow. Have people basically made up their minds in the 18th? It depends on the <laughs> neighborhood. Some people still, <laughs> yeah. still don't know. The whole nation's watching, so I feel like it's like Groundhog Day, where everybody like descends on one town. Yeah, I'm a Democrat, okay. Okay. and I'm voting for Connor Lamb. OK, well, thank you for your time. And, yep. and I hope he wins, and I hope they bring down this Trump administration. I well, understand. Thank you for your time. Have a great okay. day. OK, all righty. It happens. And you know what? That's their constitutional right. So I'm not mad at them. And, and most people are very polite. You know, they understand. And, you know, they're out there trying to share their message. We're out here trying to share ours. Having the local volunteers is what any campaign runs on. It doesn't matter if it's city council, congressional race, you know what I mean? They all run on the local volunteers. Rick's come here. I hey. already know it. Hey, that's wonderful. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Glad to have your support. And these houses. That was a winner. <laughs> a confirmed vote. I wouldn't say it's peer pressure. I think it's just people might like. This is like it's a privilege to vote. Like it's a it's a duty, and you know just help, helping people remember what a privilege it is to be able to get out there and do it.